a foreigner who lives here in Brazil, this is how I live my life. So, I simply understand each and every single one of us come from a different background. Tchau, nega. Tchau. Vai com Deus. Fala pro seu pai onde a gente foi ontem. So, us, I'm expat, living here in Brazil. Yes, I live here in Brazil. I've been living here for the past 13 years. And I am always grateful. Very, very grateful. Fala pra onde a gente foi? Pra onde a gente foi? Não sabe? Most of us from Africa, especially, when we relocate to a different country, then uh, we start getting ourselves some extra pressure. Yes, we, we, we build up some extra pressure for ourselves. I don't know about you. O clube, nadando na piscina. Yeah. Hey guys, so yes, um, like I said, I use a very old car, okay, and uh, today, which is Sunday. Normally I have to come and then. Oh, okay, I'm coming. Okay, I'll switch it on. Okay. Uh, I always pick her up on uh, what do you call it on Sundays. So I'm here to pick her up, and she likes what I have inside my car. I'm going to show you guys. Don't worry, I'm going to show you guys what it is. I bought it on AliExpress, and. Uh, my kids like to watch TV in the car, <laughs> so I have it. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys. I'm driving. You see? So I have this in my car. Okay, I bought it on AliExpress, and I installed it myself. Yeah, it is very nice. <laughs> Yeah, so they watch TV in my car. <laughs> so that is my second child in the car with me. Uh, I have three children, two girls and one boy. So every weekend, what I do is I go and then pick up, I pick her up and then bring her to where my other two children lives. Yes, I bring her home so that she can play with her a brother and a sister together so you can see she's sitting right there she looks very happy 
And yeah, that is how I simply live my life. So as you can see, this is the way I live my life, very simple. And uh, I don't build up any pressure for myself, like some other African brothers and sisters. I live like this. And my wife simply doesn't have a problem with it at all. Uh, we've talked about it and she doesn't really have any problem with uh, my second child being around for us to hang out together. So talking about the pressure that we build for ourselves, like I said, each one comes from a different home, yeah? Depending on the home you come from, that is uh, uh, how big the pressure will be. But you can see, for me, there is no pressure. So for me, when I say there is no pressure, it doesn't mean uh, I simply don't have any responsibilities back home or back in my own country. Okay, there are, there are responsibilities for sure. Yeah. But I just try not to build up pressure on myself. And for me, understanding about life or understanding, yeah, understanding about life for me is simply when somebody has it more than you, simply doesn't make you a beggar. You are still surviving and you are still eating what you want to eat. You are wearing your clothes. You are basically doing anything basic that that person is doing. So, that reminds me when I came to Brazil, okay? When I came to Brazil, I came in, that time, we didn't have so many Ghanaians here. But later on, we had a lot of Ghanaians, or let me just say Africans here in Brazil. And uh, I remember quite well uh, when a lot of them started going to the United States somewhere, moving to Europe and all that. And that is when I started observing this part of uh, pressure, you know, people built pressure on themselves. I don't really know if you understand what I'm saying, but let me know in the comment section uh, if you really understand what I'm saying. 
uh, some of my friends were like, oh, why are you not going to the United States? Why are, not, are you not moving to, the, uh, to Europe and stuff like that? <laughs> Yeah, so let me just say this. Um, at that time, I wasn't doing anything re reasonable. Like, let me just say, I, I wasn't working in, uh, in the area that I wanted to work. You know, I was simply working as a construction laborer. I was working at the construction field. What I did there was simply a, a, a pack blocks, sweep the construction field, basic stuff. So I was quite okay with that. Okay, I, I was quite okay with that. I wasn't pressured at all. Yes, so I wasn't I wasn't pressured at all. Why? Because uh, me, for once or twice, thrice, I've been deported from many countries. You know, like even South Africa. I was even deported from South Africa. <laughs> So, when I made my mind coming to Brazil, what I first uh, uh, had was focused, okay? I had so much focused. And uh, I said to myself, I wouldn't allow anybody to distract my focusness. So, which means I'm here to stay. <laughs> and not only here to stay, but to make sure I have my second citizenship too as well. Because like I said, I've been deported from Europe, from even from South Africa, I've been deported. So the deportation has been so much. And all was because then I didn't have any focus. I was doing what my fellow Africans and Ghanaians were doing. So having focus itself um, doesn't really stop you from helping any family member back home or doing something for somebody back home. Like I said, I personally I have helped a lot of people who I don't even know by giving them money, support, and a whole lot of things. And it's not a bad thing. But you have to always remember remember to focus on your first self. Uh, you have to focus on your on yourself first because without you there is nothing. So what I'm saying is um, basically you have to know your goals, you understand? And uh, you don't have to allow uh, what others are doing to build up some kind of pressure on you. Because most of us, we simply want to do what others are doing. So we end up building so much pressure for ourselves. So even if we can do better, because of lack of focusness, we cannot do better anymore. So I keep asking, why do we keep on building up pressure on ourselves or for ourselves? Because at the long run, you build a pressure, you cannot solve anything. Like, you cannot solve, solve everything 
that your family needs or your family wants. So you cannot be the superman, but the only thing you can do is maybe help the little that you can. So why don't you simply focus on building yourself first, even though within the process somebody might need something and then you give it out. I used to help a lot of people. I helped a lot of people, like people who are not even my friends. They used to call me, I send them money, I do a lot of things. You understand but I realize that if I'm not able to build myself up and I am looking at what others others are doing I'll end up not being able to do anything like basically I'll be always at point zero so you simply don't want to be at point zero all the time. So I think it's time for us to wake up. We shouldn't build some unnecessary pressure on ourselves. If you have the chance you travel, make a good use of the time where you are. Build up yourself. If some family needs something, you can help them, help them with little. Don't do more than you can. Don't look at what somebody is doing for you to try do, uh, to do the same thing. Yes, this video particularly is straight to my African brothers. You know, I know a whole lot of people will be saying, ah, you look okay or you look successful. Yes, I'm not successful, I'm okay. Even though I own properties here, I'm, I'm still not successful, I'm okay. I'm still chasing my dreams. And uh, yeah, I wish you the same too as well. So if you are watching me, you like my content, please, you watch, you like it, you give it a thumb up, you share the videos too as well. Please share the videos. You want more content, you share more videos. And uh, yes, God will bless you. Yes, because you watch it, you share somebody, make use of this video too, this, this content too as well. Don't forget to leave your comment at the comment section. And for you guys who don't know me, I'm originally from Ghana, in the west of Africa. And I want to say thank you so much for watching my content, regardless of whatever I post. God bless you and see you guys in my next video.